Okay, uh, several people have mentioned uh, either to me or in discussion board postings about the uh, color schemes in uh, VI being hard to read, and, and that's true. And I was testing something from uh, PowerShell the other day, uh, and the background was blue, and the color of my comments was blue, and it uh, it didn't it didn't go very well. I had b b bunches of holes in my code that I couldn't even read because uh, some other stuff matched the background exactly. So I'm going to show you a couple things you can do to, to alleviate that issue. Uh, one is if you're if you're in VI and, and you want to turn the color off completely, if you're in command mode, basically hit escape and then type colon syntax off, that gets rid of the colors. So that should solve the problem. However, I kind of like the colors because it helps me fix my code. So uh, I'm going to go syntax on. Right, so a different solution is to change your color scheme. So to change your color scheme, you type color scheme, and then you can type the name of an available color scheme. In this case, I'm going to type the name Elf Lord because that's a color scheme, and I think that's a funny name. Uh, so if you do that, did that even change? Uh, I don't even know if that even changed. Color scheme Elf Lord. Yeah, I can't tell if that changed or not. So we're going to get out of the file real quick. And I on our system, if you run this command, ls user share vim vim74 colors, it tells you of the installed color schemes for the system. So in this case, I'm just going to pick another one to hopefully demonstrate it working. I'll change it to, what do we have? I'll change it to morning or evening. Color scheme morning. See, that, that changes the color scheme. So maybe you like that one, maybe you don't. Color. The funny, funny, it's not funny. Color scheme, if you type colo, that's enough of the word to get it. So you don't have to, have to, have to even type color scheme entirely. So that changes it to evening. So you can play with these, basically putting each of those words in there to figure out what color scheme you want. And then you can change your color scheme to something you can read. Couple other notes. I'm going to get out of the file. I changed my color scheme to evening. Oh, I can read it now. I got out of the file. I got back in the file and it's back to the old thing. So if you don't want to have to change it every time, you can create a vimrc file. So in your home directory, in your home directory, you can create a vimrc file. It doesn't exist by default, so you'll need to create it. And then if you put in there some commands, color scheme, evening. Now if you get in the file, it, it loads that color scheme every time. So you can do the same thing for any uh, Vim command. If you say we put syntax off, syntax off, Right now we get in and there's no no syntax. So any any Vim command you want to run, you can put in that file. If you want the line numbers on, you could turn them on. You could do do all kinds of any Vim thing you want to do, you can do in that file. So uh, yeah, so that's that. One other thing I'll show you. Well, I already talked about these being the installed uh, installed system the system installed color schemes. You can also download custom color schemes. So I've already, I've, uh, I've gotten one of those. I've downloaded a color custom scheme, custom color scheme, and it's called Green T. Colo Green T. And you see, and that's what it looks like. So if you want to have some other color scheme, I'll show you how to do that. I'll post this link. Well, it says vimcolors.com, so I don't know if I'll post the link or not, but that's pretty easy. So basically, this page has a bunch of different samples of, of uh, different color schemes, 707. And you can search based on these things to find what you want. So I, I kind of want a light color scheme. And I want to go oldest, and then I'll hit go. So then I get all these light color schemes, uh, and I can search around to find the one I want. So once I find the one I want to try to use, the one I want to try to use, then I'll click on it. I'm going to use Grovebox. That looks kind of cool. I click on it. It shows you some stuff about it. I'm going to go over to View in GitHub. I'm going to go into the Colors directory, and then you want to click on the file name, 
and then we want to look at the raw uh, raw format. So once we get that, we need to, we need to get this file onto our system in a particular location, and that particular location is uh, in your relative to your home directory. There's a directory called vim. Well, there's not. There needs to be a directory called vim in colors. So if you are just now doing this for the first time, you're going to want to CD to your home directory, and then you're going to do, want to do make deer, make deer dash p dot vim slash colors, and hit enter, and that should create the directory for you. Right, I just did that, and it created a colors two directory that I don't know, di didn't need. But you want to have one called colors. I already have a colors, so I'm going to CD into the colors directory now. And once I'm in the colors directory, you'll see that I already have my green T. I can't remember if I showed you that before or not. But now we want to download that new color scheme. So we can type wget, which is a command line utility to retrieve files from the internet. We can put this URL. And then we can paste that in, and it'll download that file. So now if we look, I have a, another syntax, another Vim file called Grovebox. So um, if I go edit my file that I was looking at before, and I put in Grovebox, not Grovebox, Colo Grovebox, Colo Grovebox, it, it changes the color scheme to that grub box. And if I want that to be my permit color scheme, I need to edit my vimrc file. Edit my vimrc file to specify color scheme should be should be a grub box. If you notice, I, I have Navajo. I did a little testing uh, a minute ago and it, it wasn't working. Navajo didn't change the color, so I had to, to uh, go back and do something else. But if you notice, when I type vi, it says, cannot find color scheme Navajo. So if you put something in your VimRC that, that, that doesn't work or doesn't exist, you're going to get that error. Hit enter. It'll let you in there. I'm going to change the color scheme to Grovebox. And now when I open my file, it opens in that color scheme. So those are a couple ways you can, you can deal with this color issue we've, we've been running into with uh, Vim. You can either turn it off with syntax off, or you can go find a color scheme that works for whatever terminal environment you're using. So that's that.